The Naked Scientist podcast comes to you from Cambridge University and is supported by the Wellcome Trust, the EPSRC, the STFC, the Natural Environment Research Council and UK Fast. For more cutting-edge science, join us online at nakedscientists.com. This week, are we overcompensating? Hello, I'm Philippa from Oxford. I heard that the pupil of an eye widens when it looks through dark tinted glass. If this is the case, why do we wear sunglasses? Surely the eye gets more sunlight than it does without sunglasses, and this must be a bad thing. Just how much does the pupil's opening counteract the effect of sunglasses? Here's Dr Mike Cox from the University of Bradford, where he's Senior Lecturer in Clinical Vision Science. We need to think about the light reaching your retina. To get there, it has to travel both through the sunglass lens and through your eye's pupil. In a 20-year-old person, on a bright day, the pupil diameter will be around 3 millimetres. With a dark pair of sunglasses on, this will make the pupil dilate to a diameter of around 4.5 millimetres. That means roughly 2.5 times more of the light reaching the outside of your eye can reach the retina by travelling through your pupil. But don't forget, due to the sunglass lens, only around a tenth as much light is able to reach the outside of your eye and travel through the pupil in the first place. The total amount of light reaching the retina is reduced by a factor of around four. So sunglasses really do work, even though your pupil will dilate if you wear them. Think about eye safety with your sunglasses. Too much invisible ultraviolet light can harm the retina inside your eye. If a sunglass lens doesn't absorb ultraviolet light, but does absorb visible light, then with the sunglasses on, the pupil dilates and the ultraviolet light can still travel through the lens, reach the outside of your eye, and head through the pupil. As the pupil is bigger, more of this ultraviolet light reaches the retina inside your eye, and over a long time, this could harm your eye. Fortunately, if you buy sunglasses in Europe, They should have the letters C and E marked on them. If you see this CE mark, then the sunglasses will give you the proper protection against ultraviolet light. If you don't see the CE mark, don't buy or use the sunglasses. So the pupil will dilate to allow in more light, but not enough to counteract the effect of the sunglasses. Further, a good quality pair of sunglasses will filter out UV light, which is the really damaging stuff. And top marks to Giza and Diver John on the forum who said pretty much that. Next week, if you can't see and you're not particularly good at knots, how do you stop yourself from getting in a twist? Hi, my name is Heather Demarest and I'm a graduate student in philosophy at Rutgers University in the US. My question is about the umbilical cord. I'm seven months pregnant and my baby's always moving around, sometimes completely changing positions in my womb. My question is, how does the long umbilical cord keep from getting tangled and knotted? Other cords tangle so easily. If I put my iPod headphones in my book bag or tie my dog to a tree, I quickly have a tangled mess. But a baby typically goes for nine months without any trouble. I love the show. Thanks very much. Why is it that most babies don't tend to tie themselves in knots? Answers to chris at thenakedscientist.com. You can write on the forum, which is at thenakedscientists.com forward slash forum. You can Facebook us or you can Twitter at Naked Scientists. The Naked Scientist's Question of the Week, brought to you in association with the How to Wisman Foundation, supporting science and education from alpha to omega.